So just to tee it up, this is Biden talking about Social Security and Medicare. Um, well, he's going to get it's going to get raucous. And I will explain kind of what's happening for those just listening. And maybe you didn't watch the State of the Union, but uh, he is about to call out Republicans, specifically Mike Lee has had a proposal that cuts Medicare and Social Security, but also the same thing with entitlements, what they call them. Republicans call Social Security and Medicare. Uh, they consistently try to cut these things. So this is where he is in his speech. Some Republicans want Medicare and Social Security to sunset. I'm not saying it's a majority. <laughs> Let me give you anybody who doubts it. Contact my office. I'll give you a copy. I'll give you a copy of the proposal. So right now you can hear um, Marjorie Taylor Greene, who was raucous, disruptive, disrespectful throughout the whole thing. And again, like some of this is like, oh, am I going to feign outrage about people being disrespectful in the House of Representatives? Probably not. But I think it is somewhat disrespectful. Uh, and I think it's uh, kind of a shame to see. Uh, in the House of Representatives, somebody being so utterly nonsensical, but people used to beat each other with canes in the, in the House of Representatives, so a little bit of different time. That means Congress doesn't vote. Well, I'm glad to see you. No, I tell you, I'm, I enjoy conversion. You know, it means if, if Congress doesn't keep the programs the way they are, they go away. Other Republicans say, I'm not saying it's a majority of you. I don't even think it's even a significant. It is. It is a significant like they they mask it, but it is a significant portion. But it's being proposed by individuals. I'm not I'm politely not naming them, but it's being proposed by some of you. Look, folks. I have to say that while doing this live, this was absolutely incredible, you know, dark Brandon moves here. The idea is that we're not going to be we're, we're not going to be moved into being threatened to default on the debt if we don't respond. <laughs> Folks. So, folks, as we all apparently agree, Social Security and Medicare is off the off the books now. Right? They're not to be stopped. All right. So that was a standing ovation. We got unanimity. Standing ovation. So that's that was something that actually. I love to see. I loved seeing Biden go hard on Social Security and Medicare. Again, these are like the most impactful and most popular government programs to ever exist in America. And I think that was a great. Um, some people are calling it a trap. I don't think he did that on purpose. I honestly don't think that that was on purpose. And that was why I was more impressed, because I think that was on the fly on some level. And. That was incredible. And that's the type of that is the type of fighter that I like to see. You know, I don't know that Biden has that in him all the time, but that is a type of like, oh, you say you want to do this. Well, you're not going to do uh, anything to touch Medicare and Social Security because these are the most popular programs in the country. And I'm going to make sure that people know that you want to cut them, which is actually the truth. That is the legitimate truth. That was a good way to do that. 